All right, folks, hello, and welcome back to game two of the two-game series here. The Mavs facing Buta Johnson Jaguars again. Mavs dropped the first game of the series nine, by a score of 9-4. to We're going to try to tie up the series here with this next game. Mavs the home team again. Starting defense for your Mavericks. Jackson Collins at first base. Jack Goins at second. Ryan Vosick at shortstop. We've got Wyatt Newman playing third base. Left fielder, Brandon Morio, the starting pitcher from the first game. Center field, Ramsey Simpson. And in right field, Ryan Shook. Catcher behind the plate this game, Garrett Banks. And the starting pitcher, the senior left-hander, Chris Windesman. All right, we're getting ready to get underway here. Winsman's done with his warm-up pitching. Leading off for the Jaguars, designated hitter Connor Crabtree. He'll be followed by the first baseman Templeton and then shortstop McLean. Crabtree swings at the first pitch from Windesman and fouls it back to the screen. A one pitch to Crabtree, slider, bounces in the dirt for ball one. One on the count. Next pitch, tried to check his swing, but umpire says he went around on it, so it'll be strike two. Here comes the one-two pitch from Windesman. Swung, <coughs> swung on ground ball to Rossick at shortstop. Fields it, throws it over to first base in time for the first out of the inning. So one away in the top of the first. Brings up Cody Templeton for the Jaguars. Templeton swings at the first pitch and misses strike one. Pitch fastball a little bit low. Misses for a ball. It's like a nice breaking ball off speed pitch there. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Wind has been working ahead again. One, one ball, two strikes. Another pitch swung on, missed. Bounces in the dirt. Banks, catcher Banks tagged him. Umpire agrees that he did. So that will complete the drop third strike. So two up, two down for the Mavs here in top one. Brings up the shortstop, McLean.
Clanning swings and misses at a first pitch fastball for strike one. McLean was the leadoff hitter in the game one. Another fastball down low this time. One ball, one strike to count. This pitch breaking ball misses a little bit inside and, and low. Comes a 2-1 pitch from Windsman, swung on and missed, strike two. That's a foul tip, caught by Banks. And the hitter, McLean, calls time. Granted, probably granted by the home plate umpire. And the 2-2 delivery from Windesman. Swung on, popped, shallow, foul territory. Just gets away from the glove of the diving first baseman, Jackson Collins. So McLean will get another life and head back to the batter's box. Comes a 2-2 pitch. Fastball misses a little bit outside and low. So count will go full on the number three hitter, McLean. Next pitch swung on a miss, strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the inning for Windesman. No runs, no hits. Mavs coming up for their first at-bats here in the bottom of the first. We'll be right back. All right, leading off for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the first inning, center fielder Ramsey Simpson. He'll be followed by the second baseman, Jack Goins, and the shortstop, Ryan Vasek. Simpson squares around to bunt, first pitch, but it's low and outside, pulls back for ball one.
Simpson looks at the next pitch. Fastball misses a little low and in. This will be two balls, no strikes to Simpson. Two zero pitch swung on in between. Oh, good diving play by the first baseman, and throws it over to the pitcher, who's runs over from the mound to cover first base and then in time for the out. Nice diving play. It looked like it was going to get through the uh, gap between first and second baseman there, but first baseman made a good diving play. That was a nice play. Good to be back with you, Jason. Calling this game number two against Johnson. Bang, bang play there. Simpson called out. So one out brings up second baseman Jack Goins. He squares around a bun, does lay it down. It's kind of a hard bunt right into the uh, running pitcher who was right there to grab it and flips it over to first base for the second out. <clears throat> so two away here in the bottom of the first brings up shortstop Ryan Vosick. Vosick hitting the ball hard. Had about four hard shots last game, but uh, he had to get on base. And he looks like first pitch fastball that bounces off the catcher. For ball one. Pitch is a curveball in there for called strike one. Next pitch swung on. Little blooper there we that's go. gonna get down into the infield. Right? Oh, second baseman came over and tried to throw him out from kind of shallow right field, but the throws offline. Vasek would have been there in time anyway, but uh, he's gonna hold up as the Ball did not get far enough away for him to advance to second. So a two-out single for Vasek. <clears throat> Brings up number four hitter Jackson Collins, who uh, was hit by a pitch twice last game and also had a single. And Roddick Vasek goes on the first pitch. And he is going to be thrown out. So Vasek is caught stealing for the third out of the inning. And the maps go one, two, three. Head into the top of the second inning. Middle of the order due up for Johnson's. No, still no score.
Leading off for the Jaguars here in the top of the second inning, center fielder number 15, McAllister. He tries to check his swing on a first pitch. Fastball had a lot of run. Chris has a lot of run on his fastball today. It's going to make it hard for these hitters to hit. Did not check his swing, so strike one. And a and late run, mm -hmm. for that matter. Swings the next pitch. Misses that one, too. Strike two. One has been out ahead on this leadoff hitter this inning. McCash will be followed by the left fielder, Bailey. And then the right fielder, Robinson. Struck him out on three straight pitches. Quick work of McAllister there. Three strikeouts in a row. Last three outs for uh, for the Mavs have been back to back to back strikeouts. Weston Bailey stands in now. One out. He swings the first pitch and lofts a foul ball down the right field side. Out of play. Oh, one pitch to Bailey. Good breaking ball comes in there, called strike two. Oh, two pitch to Bailey. Swung on and missed. Looks like it bounced off of the catcher's mask. And <coughs> it was a drop third strike, but Banks is able to get out, throw it down to first in time. And it is four straight strikeouts now. For Windesman. 21 pitches for Windesman, too, so keep that uh, pitch count low. Let's keep it going. So two up, two down for the Jaguars here in the top of two. Brings up the right fielder, Robinson. Oh, swings at the oh. first pitch, comebacker. Right back to... Uh, Chris Windows his head on the mound there. He managed to get a glove up, deflected it, and as, as things tend to go with those comebackers, it deflected out to no man's land there. So, Just glad he's okay right there. On that sharp comebacker. So Robinson's aboard with a line drive comebacker single there with two outs. Looks like the pitcher wins has okay. So he will pitch to third baseman Allred. Runner goes on the first pitch. Throwdown is not in time, so it'll be a stolen base for uh, Robinson. And the uh, pitch was called a ball. So it'll be 1 0 count to Allred. Conditions for this game, too, are warm and muggy still. 76 degrees, mostly cloudy. And, uh, winds have gone up to about 15 miles an hour. South-southeast winds, uh, so the flags are blowing out towards the left, towards the left field. Allred looks at a called strike fastball in the outside corner. So one ball, one strike to count. Swings the next pitch and bounces it foul off of the ground in his own helmet. So it'll be a 1 2 count. Two outs. Robinson, the runner on second after the stolen base.
One two pitch, swung on, lofted foul, right field side, out of play. Windsman gets set for the 1-2 delivery. Swung on, ground ball. Right between first and second base. Goins comes over and knocks it down, but unable to make the throw. The runner tries to come home, and he is going to score safely. And so it's an infield RBI single for Allred. And the Jaguars strike first here with two outs. Yeah, Robinson uh, was hustling, running hard, and uh, off that air, you know, Goins popped up, but didn't, uh, he hesitated a little bit to make the throw at home, and Robinson is safe with the first uh, first run for Johnson. Number 11, Gentry, the catcher, is a uh, current hitter, he looks at called strike one. Next pitch swung on, lofted into shallow right field, shook the right fielders underneath it, and he grabs it and brings it in for the third out. So a couple of base hits, one run comes around for the Jaguars, and we head to the bottom of the second inning, Mavs chasing 1-1, one, one. one run. We'll be right back. All right, leading off for the Mavericks this inning, first baseman Jackson Collins. Collins' is, uh, at-bat was ended last inning by uh, an out-of-the-base pass. So fresh count, fresh at-bat for Collins. Looks at ball one in the dirt to start off. Next pitch swung Ooh. on, lofted high and deep into left field. Left fielder going back. Get out of here. And that ball is gone. Gone. Woo. That was an absolute moonshot. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, yes, I hear his father, Jeff Collins. Way to go, Jackson. <laughs> that was a no doubt. That was a bomb. Touch them all, buddy. So with one swing, Collins ties the game up at one apiece. Go get that ball, Dad. <laughs> He's on his way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that brings up the five-hitter and starting pitcher for the Mavericks here, Chris Windesman. Let's go.
And he takes the first pitch off of his foot. So Windesman will head down to first base with a hit by pitch. Maybe a little rattled there. Pitcher may be a little <laughs> rattled after that homer. Courtesy runner for Winnisman. And so number should be number 17. De La Garza. Yeah, Santiago De La Garza is now the uh, courtesy runner for the pitcher Chris Winnisman at first base. The catcher Garrett Banks now stands in as the hitter. Banks had a ground rule double and a single in his last game. Yeah, Banks has been hitting the ball well. Let's keep it going. He swings the first pitch, sharp ground ball right to the third baseman. He throws to second base in time to catch De La Garza, but not in time to catch Banks at first. As Banks knew he was safe <laughs> with his arms spread open, <laughs> spread wide. So Banks stays at first on the fielder's choice. Banks is going to have a courtesy, courtesy runner as well. Looks like uh, number 21, Luke Hankey, comes in as the courtesy runner at first base. And with one out, that brings up left fielder Brandon Morio. Morio, the starting pitcher of the previous game against Johnson. Swings the first pitch, lofts a fly ball Get into down shallow ball. right field. Yep. Is going to be caught by the right fielder, though. And Henke will remain at first base. So close to the Texas leaguer hit. Right. Almost, almost dropped in there. All right, fielder with the catch. So two away. Brings up the third baseman, Wyatt Newman. Newman was uh, two for three last game, two singles. Holds back on that first pitch, which missed high and outside, ball one. Next pitch gets away from the catcher, but not far enough away for Hanky to advance from first base. So it'll be two balls and no strikes to the hitter Newman. Two zero pitch swung on, grounded softly to second base. Throws over to first base in time, and that will end the inning. But Mav strike back with a leadoff home run by Jackson Collins, tied up one one, heading the top of the third inning. Right back.
All right, leading off for the Jaguars, top of the third inning, number nine hitter, James Tello. Swings at the first pitch, lofts a little shallow line drive in foul territory, first base side. First baseman Collins makes a diving attempt to get it, but it can't come up with it. So it'll be strike one. Just a soft liner off to the right side in foul, ter foul territory. Jackson made a nice effort. Ball just kind of died, you know, right in front of him. Winsman comes inside there, misses a little bit low. Ball one. Next pitch swung on, grounded softly to third baseman Newman. Feels it, throws over to first. Nice play. In time to make the play. Throw was a little bit off the mark, but uh, Jackson Collins made a nice catch and tag on the runner to get the out. Yep, little bobble, a little bit of a tough throw there, but uh, it all worked out. So one away brings us to the top, back to the top of the order for the Jaguars here to uh, Connor Crabtree. Grounded out to short his first at bat. Swings at the first pitch. Another ground ball right up the middle, and that's going to get into center field for a base hit. So Crabtree's aboard with a one out ground ball single. Brings up the first baseman, Templeton. Struck out in his first at bat. First pitch fastball called strike one. A lot of good run on that ball. There it is. Yep. There's that run. One of them working that outside part of the plate there, trying to do some swing and misses and weak contact. Looks over at the runner at first. Runner. Looked like he was going, but then holds off. Next pitch misses a little high and outside. And with that running fastball to the right-handed batter, it's really tough to, uh, to hold up on that, especially when that ball is even just outside the strike zone. Mm -hmm. Runner goes. Looks like it was a hit and run. Fouled back to the screen. So Crabtree will head back to first base. And we have a 1-2 count on the hitter Templeton. Quick throw over to first base from Windesman there, but Crabtree's back safely. Next pitch is swung on, and well, we called that strike three. Looked like it might have been a foul tip, but I guess it was not. Umpire calls him out, strike three. It did get away from the catcher, Banks, but as the hitter just kind of resigned himself and walked back to the dugout, it's an out. Crabtree did advance to second as the ball kicked away on the drop third strike now. So it'll be two outs. Fifth strike out of the game for uh, Windesman so far. And that brings up the shortstop, Ethan McLean, who swings at the first pitch and lofts a, just a ground ball into the 5-6 hole between short and third base. And with the shortstop, Vosick, working the batter, or sorry, working the base runner at second, it found its way into left field. And that's going to be an RBI two-out single. So the Jaguars tack on another run. Making the score two to one. And with two outs, that brings up the center fielder and number four hitter McAllister. And he looks at a first pitch fastball once again with a lot of run to the outside part for called strike one. Throw over to first base, kind of, kind of freezing a little bit there, but uh, 
McLean's able to get back safely. Oh, we might have him snoozing over there. Ground ball, fielded by White Newman at third base, throws over to first base in time, and that will end the inning. It's another quick inning, but a couple of hits and one run scored. Breaks the tie. Johnson Jaguar is now up by a score of two to one. We head to the bottom of the third. Maps coming up to bat. We'll be right back. Leading off here in the bottom of the third inning for the Mavericks, right fielder Ryan Shook will get things started. Then back to the top of the order with leadoff hitter Ramsey Simpson and then Jack Goins. First pitch to Shook, breaking ball swung on a miss, strike one. taking a long time getting his pitch selected here. And the 0-1 pitch, another breaking ball that is called strike through called strike two on the outside corner. So 0 and 2 to Shook. Next pitch fastball misses outside and low. Comes the 1-2 pitch to Shook. Breaking ball swung on, grounded, foul down third base side. Nice play, coach. Coach Aguirre handling that uh, foul ball. What do you got? One and two now with the count. 1-2 pitch swung on and missed for strike three. First strike out of the game for uh, the Jaguars pitcher Gloria. One away brings us to the back to the top of the order, Ramsey Simpson. How about in number 12, Ramsey Simpson? Simpson grounded out on a nice play by the Jaguars first baseman back in the first inning. And he looks at a first pitch fastball over the plate for called strike one. Next pitch swung on, bouncing ball right trouble. over the top Maybe. of the pitcher's head. Shortstop comes over, and makes the call though, or makes the play, and a good throw over in time for the second out of the inning. He has a really nice play by shortstop Ethan McLean Johnson coming over, getting to that ball, hit right over, bounced right over the pitcher's head. Made the play for the second out. 
brings up a second baseman, Jack Goins. So that first pitch breaking ball for a ball. It's a big swing at another breaking ball there. Either foul tipped it or missed it. Either way, it's strike one. One one pitch lofted into shallow left field. Left fielder is coming in underneath it and he makes the grab. And that will end the inning. So the Mavs go one, two, three here in the bottom of the third inning. Head to the top of the fourth. Score still Jaguars two, Mavericks one. We'll be right back. Okay, five, six, seven hitters due up for the Jaguars here in the top of the fourth inning. Leading off will be the left fielder, Weston Bailey. Struck out in his first at bat back in the second inning. Swings at the first pitch and it's a slow rolling foul ball over toward the Mavericks dugout. A one pitch, swung on, lofted foul out of play. Again, over the right-hand side. So Windesman working ahead 0-2 on the leadoff batter, Bailey. So for Chris R Windesman, um, through three innings, I've got four strikeouts for him. I think there's actually five strikeouts. Yep, there it is. Yep, the fifth strikeout. He has five. five That's five Ks. Ks. Yep. 42 pitches for Chris. Little delay on the resupply of baseballs. <laughs> Taking a little longer than expected here, but here we go. Play ball. 
All right, here comes the O2 delivery for Windsman. That had some movement on it. Sure, that looks like Ball. a slider, kind of missed a little slider inside and low. Uh -huh. So one and two, the count. Next pitch swung on a miss. Great pitch. Three. Great pitch. Another K for Chris. Six on the day so far. So one away brings up number 14, Robinson. Single and scored a run back in the second inning. Swings at the first pitch and lofts it foul out of play. Jason, I Jason, I hope that was not your car. I sure hope not. Oh, one pitch is nice. Breaking ball catches the outside corner. Called strike two. What is working ahead again? Very aggressive, going right after hitters, pounding the zone. I mean, wicked movement with that breaking pitch. A lot of break on that patch on last pitch, yep. O2 pitch. Looks like it may have bounced off the plate and then off the catcher's chest protector there, so it'll be one and two. One two pitch swung on, grounded, bounding ball to uh, Goins over at second base. Fields it, throws a little bit high, but still plenty of time. Collins brings it in for the second out of the inning. So two away here in the top of the fourth. Brings up the third baseman, Allred. Allred singled in his first at bat back in the second. First pitch to all red, slider, misses a little bit low, ball one. Next pitch, a little fastball, misses low, be 2-0. Pitch fastball misses a little high and up. So it'll be three balls, no strikes. So the hitter all red. Two outs, nobody on. I'll try to check his swing on the 3 0 pitch there and just fouled it softly over towards the uh, Mavericks dugout on the first base side. That was one of those oops, didn't mean to throw my bat out mm -hmm. there because he uh, all red would probably be standing on yeah, that was first ball base. Four. That was ball four, yep. And next oh, pitch. There is ball four. Outside, so it'll be ball four. Two out walk for all red. And that will bring up Gentry, the catcher, who flew out to right field in his first at bat. Winsman took a long look over there at the run at first base and hit her gentry and called for time and stepped out. First pitch gentry is a fastball, misses outside, ball one.
Oh, had they a got him lead in. And they got pick him. Pickoff. Good pickoff move by Winnesman. So pickoff on the base pass ends the inning. One, two, three. No damage done on that walk. Heading to the bottom of the fourth. Mavs coming up to bat, chasing one run. Still down two to one. We'll be right back. All right, leading off for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Starting leading off will be shortstop Ryan Vosick. Has a single so far this and back from the first at bat in the first inning. So he's the first pitch, launches a foul ball up behind the press box here, not a play. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses low. So it'll be one ball, one strike. Behind Vasek will be Collins. And then uh, the pitcher, Chris Windesman. Next pitch, fastball, swung on and missed, strike two. Big hack by Vasek. Big swing and miss. Cut that swing down right here. Breaking ball misses outside. Two balls and two strikes to Vasek. Mavs looking for a run to tie it up and some more to take the lead. Cut the swing down and protect the plate with two strikes. Let's go. 2-2 two -two pitch swung on, lofted it into the gap Maybe. in right center field. That's going to get down. Yes. And that will be a base hit. So two singles so far for Vasek this game. We've got a runner aboard. To start the bottom of the fourth, that brings up Jackson Collins, who had the solo home run last inning. So let's see if they pitch to him. See what they do here. <laughs> He's going to be looking for that same mistake last time. Oh, you know it. We'll see if they even give him something close to hitting here. If they do, that left fielder better be ready. He's definitely not showing <laughs> a lot of respect there. He's playing in pretty close. He is. And they pitch him inside, and he fouls it back to the screen. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go 2 4. Huh? And <laughs> hit by pitch. <laughs> Threw a curveball there that didn't have a whole lot of break on it, as you can tell, and uh, hits Collins squarely in the back. That's his third hit by pitch today. It is. He had two hit three of them. Was hit twice in the last game. So, Mavs are off to a good start. Runners on first and second. Nobody out. Brings up Chris Windesman. Well, Gloria just didn't, you know, maybe you just didn't want to uh, deal with them. Just go ahead and put them on first. With that previous at bat by Collins with that home run. So, Jaguars seem to be suspecting a bunt here. First baseman's playing up on the grass. And Windesman calls for time and is granted by the home plate umpire. Smart. Yeah, it's really just the uh, first baseman on the grass. Third baseman's creeping in a little bit, but see what the Mavs do here. And Winnesman does square around to bunt, but pulls back as the pitch is inside for a ball. So we do have some uh, bullpen activity over on the Jaguar side. Winnesman squares around to bunt. Misses it, so it'll be called strike. So, what do we got? Yeah, one and one's the count. Yep. First baseman now, having seen that, is thoroughly convinced they're going to try to execute it. About six feet up on the infield grass at first. Third baseman still playing back regular depth. And the next pitch is swung on, driven just foul, though, down the right field side. Big hack by Windesman there. So it'll be one ball, two strike count to Windesman. Boy, that was a nice swing right there. I know foul ball, just straighten it out this time. Come on, Chris. Got Vostick, your runner at second. Collins at first. And here comes the one-two pitch. Swung on, lofted into shallow left field. Shortstop is over, makes the play just on the outfield grass. And that will be a fly out for the first out of the inning. Brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Safe on a fielder's choice in his first at bat. Now batting number two, Garrett Banks. Takes a big hack of the first pitch, swing and misses, strike one. Vosick tries to steal on the pitch there and is thrown out. So caught stealing, <coughs> caught trying to steal third base there. That'll be the second out of the inning. Collins remained at first base. And it is a 1-1 count to the hitter Banks. Now with two outs this inning. This pitch is swung on, missed. And there's a snap throw down to first base. Gets into right field, but uh, 
not far enough for Collins to advance. Comes the 1-2 pitch to Banks. Swung on, grounded foul down third base side over towards the Jaguar dugout. Left fielder Brandon Morio stands on deck should Banks reach safely. Next pitch, swung on, grounded right down the third base line and in fair territory. Collins makes his way to second. He is heading in for third, and he will slides in there. Throw is not going to make it anyway, so it is a two-out ground ball double for Banks. Yes, yeah, so we got Collins at third base and Banks with the double. Or is on second to third here. Morrow's on second and third, two outs for Brandon Morio. Flew out to right field his first at bat. And it looks like, uh, yeah, number 21, Luke Hankey, has come in to be the courtesy runner for the catcher, Garrett Banks, at second. Pitcher's going to go from the windup now with runners on second and third. And Morio looks at the first pitch, misses a little bit inside, ball one. Inside corner there, called strike. Ball, one strike, count to Morio. Nice pitch, swung on ground ball. going to get in the gap between Ooh. shortstop and third base. Shortstop comes over and grabs it, but not going to have a chance to make a play. So it's going to be an RBI infield single for Morio. And that's going to tie the game up at two apiece. Hey, put it in play. Well done. Don't try to do too much. Just find a hole. That's right. Now batting number 16, Wyatt Newman. Batting number 16. So runners on first and third now as Hankey advances from second to third. And third baseman Wyatt Newman stands in. First pitch to Newman, misses high and outside for ball one. Next pitch swung on, line sharply. Kind of a nice candy hop for the shortstop there. Flips it over to second base in time for the force out. And that will end the inning. So Mav strike back though with a with one run, tie the score back up two to two. Coming up to the top of the fifth inning. Johnson coming to bat. We'll be right back.
All right, 8-9, and then the top of the order for the Jaguars due up here in the top of the fifth. Leading off will be the catcher, Gentry. Flew out to right field his first at bat. And he looks at like a first pitch fastball in there, called strike one. One pitch misses low in the dirt. It's going to be one and one. Now batting number 11, Josh Gentry. Next pitch is swung on and fouled back to the screen. So, wind has been working. Aggressive and ahead again with a 1-2 count on the leadoff hitter here, Gentry. There it is. Called third strike. Took a nice changeup possibly there on the uh, outside That's what corner. Changeup. Yeah. Mixing it up a little bit with that changeup. I like it. And that is the seventh strikeout for Winnesby in this uh -huh. game. K count at seven. That brings up the number nine hitter, second baseman James Tello. Grounded out to third base in his first at bat. Ooh, sharp slider there. Bounces off the Kicks off the home plate and almost bounced over the back of the screen here. So one ball, one strike. The count to Tello. Leadoff hitter for the Jaguars. Crabtree stands on deck. Nice fastball again. Caught the outside corner. Called strike two. Comes the 1-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Oh. Got Stri him. Strikeout number eight for Windesman. Oh. Two away. Brings up leadoff hitter Crabtree. We're going to run out of K's to hang before too long. <laughs> That'd be a great problem to have. It would be, right? Well, first pitch to Crabtree. There's low and in the dirt uh, inside. Looks uh, like good, it didn't hit him. I got a chance of hitting him there, but uh, umpire says no. One zero pitch, fastball misses outside. Be two and zero. Pitch fastball looked like it was in there, but must have been a little bit low. So it'll be three balls, no strikes. Crab tray. Three O pitches in there for a called strike on the outside corner. Next pitch swung on ground ball fielded. Fielded by uh, Newman there, but kind of popped out of the glove. It's a pretty hot shot there, so it'll be... Crabtree will be aboard with two outs here. Let's see if they're going to call that one a hit or an error there. Error. Looks like it's going to go in the direction of error. So Crabtree's on first now with two outs. Number two hitter Templeton stands in. Templeton struck out twice today. So the first pitch fastball misses a little bit high. <laughs> now 
Next pitch swung on ground ball to third. Gets underneath the glove of the third baseman Newman, though, and into left field for a base hit. Now that one looked like it just snuck under the glove. I don't know if that's going to be a hit. We'll see if they call yeah. that one a hit or an error as well. We're going to go with a single on that one. Yep. Both of those shots there to Newman at third, you know, kind of – those are all do or dies, right? You got to either got to feel the short hop, you got to commit and try to get it, or stay back and see if it doesn't eat you up. So runners on first and second now, two outs. Number three hitter McLean stands in, and he swings at the first pitch, lofts a fly ball into right center field, shook heading over, and it's going to get down, and it gets past him. So one run is going to score, two runs are going to score, and McLean is heading into third, and he is in there. So McLean with the triple, two runs scored, make it 4-2 to Johnson. That brings number four hitter McAllister to the plate. He looks at a ball, misses just low. Next pitch swung on comeback or right up the right oh. up the middle and it's gonna get through. Looks like it kicked off the glove of Windesman and maybe tipped a little bit of the shortstop Vosick's glove as he was coming over trying to grab it. And it's gonna get into center field for another base hit and another RBI. And that's gonna make the score five to two. Jaguars. So it was Two quick strikeouts to begin the begin the inning, and then uh, Jaguars just kind of finding a way to keep the inning going here, scoring three runs. Ruled uh, ruled McAllister as a hit. Left fielder Bailey stands in and tries to check his swing, but umpire called a strike anyway. So it'll be 0 1 to Bailey. Bailey with two strikeouts, two of the eight strikeouts for Windesman in this game. Runner goes, and throw is going to be sails high over the glove of the shortstop Vosick, so it'll be a stolen base for McAllister. Pitch was called a ball, so it'll be 1-1 one, one count to Bailey. One one pitch swung on line drive into right field. Shook comes in, ball gets down though, and runner comes all the way home from second base on that play. So the Jacks find a way to keep the inning going and add on a, the fourth run, making the score 6-2. to two. Still two outs. Left-handed hitting Robinson stands in. Has a single and grounded out to second base. And Winsman throws over. Close play, but not in time. He's got a very deceptive move over to first base. Got one pickoff already this game. There he throws back to first, keeping him close, keeping him honest. Next pitch is swung on and lofted over second base and into center field for another base hit. Runner is going all the way from first to third. Throw is going to be not in time. 
So Bailey's in at third base, and on the throw, Robinson advanced from first to second. So now, still with two outs, runners on second and third. Brings up the third baseman, Allred. That's a single and a walk. And Winnisman's at 76 pitches. I don't know how much longer Aguirre is going to leave him in. Looks like we're starting to get some activity yeah, up in the, the bullpen. Mavs bullpen. Uh -huh. And next pitch is lined right over. That's what I was just about to area. Say. And into center field. And it looks like we're going to have two runs that score on that play. So runners come in from second and third. Don't want that pitch count to get too high, but we've got to get... Whoever it is, I can't see who's in the uh, bullpen, but give him enough time to warm up. <laughs> yep, we're going to have a pitching change here. It looks like James Morio is going to come in and in relief for Chris Windesman. Now pitching for the Mavericks, number 15, James Morio. All right, another left-hander comes in. We'll let Morio get his warm-up pitches here, and we'll be right back. All right, so James Morio now comes in in relief for Chris Windesman as the new pitcher for the Mavericks. He inherits a base runner on first from the last single there by Robinson. We are back to where we started this inning. All red had a single. And All red swings at the first pitch and fouls it off the right field side. We got a single and a walk for Allred uh, this game. Actually, yeah, he had, he had two singles. He had a single to start this inning and a single back in the second inning and then a walk in the fourth. Next pitch, breaking ball swung on a miss, strike two. Thank you for that update. I'll update my books now. <laughs> <laughs> Runner goes, pitch is called strike there three. There we go. So Morio comes in and three pitches, gets a strikeout. That's why I like to see quick work. 
But the Jaguars add six runs. And we head to the bottom of the fifth. Score now, Jaguars eight, Mavericks two. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, we got a new pitcher for Johnson Jaguars here. Number three, Chris Rodriguez, comes in in relief for Gloria. And our leadoff hitter is going to be the current pitcher for the Mavericks, James Morio. And he swings at the first pitch and fouls it back to the screen. Next pitch breaking ball misses low. So one ball, one strike to Morio. Another breaking ball misses down to the dirt. So two and one. Goes up with a high fastball, swing and a miss, strike two. Only 10% chance of rain, but, man, those clouds are getting dark. It did, did okay. start to get a little dark. You're right. <laughs> Looks suspicious. Yeah. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses inside. So the count will go full to Morio, the leadoff hitter. <clears throat> Oh, and Morio looks at called strike three, low and outside, but apparently on the corner. That brings us back to the top of the Mavericks order. Ramsey Simpson coming up. You heard the crowd. I think the uh, majority of this crowd disagreed with that call, but, well, it's a strike and strikeout in the books. Simpson looks at a first pitch fastball in there for called strike one. Actually, um, it was called strike two. Umpire is liking that outside. It looks like it's just off the edge of the plate, which was the third uh, strike, called strike on Morio to get that strike out. Next pitch to Simpson bounces in the dirt outside, so count will go to one and two. Oh, comes inside. Swing and a miss, strike three. So back-to-back -back strikeouts here in the bottom of the fifth for the new pitcher, Rodriguez. 
Brings up the number two hitter, Jack Goins. Tough pitch to lay off of. It's very tempting, you know, that swinging third strike right there. Simpson. First pitch breaking ball. Dives down to the dirt, hits the edge of the plate, and kicked over towards the Mavs, Mavs dugout for ball one. Next pitch swung on, lined into left field for a base hit. That a kid, Jack. Nice hit. So two out single for for Goins. I'll bring up the number three hitting shortstop, Ryan Vosick. Vosick reached base successfully in both of his at bats, two singles. Let's see if he can keep the hitting streak rolling here. Swings the first pitch, pops it up. Right underneath it is the first baseman, and he makes the grab, and that will end the inning. So Mavs get a base runner, but can't bring him around. We head to the top of the sixth inning. Jaguar still leading by a score of 8-2. to two. All right, top of the sixth inning. And leading off is the, it looks like we have a pinch hitter here. Tello? Yep, number 12, James Tello. And Tello hits a ground ball. Fielded quickly by the third baseman, Wyatt Newman, and thrown over to first base for the out. Okay, so leadoff hitter Tello grounds out to third base to begin the inning. That brings up the top of the order again. Leadoff hitter Crabtree fouls the first one off and swinging a miss at the second pitch. Morio working ahead here with an 0-2 count. Next pitch swung on a miss, strike three. Second strikeout for Morio. Quick work right there on Crabtree. So two way brings up the number two hitter Cody Templeton. Single and two strikeouts today. First pitch breaking ball in there for called strike. Okay. 
Next pitch swung on line sharply, foul down the third base line. And the count goes to 0 2. Quick two outs. We've already got an 0 2 count on Templeton. Next pitch swung on, chopped uh, softly tough. over by the first base side. It's nice thrown play. over by C Collins. Fielded by Morio, the pitcher who went over to cover first base in time. And that will end the inning. So, quick work for Morio here in relief. Three up, three down. And we head to the bottom of six. Jackson Collins made that play look a lot easier than <laughs> what I was expecting. <laughs> But, uh, Ball nice hung up there quite a, wa quite a ways in the air waiting to come down. Unfortunately, we were able to make a play. All right. All right, Jackson Collins steps in to lead off for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Looks at ball one high. Collins with a solo home run and a hit by pitch in his two at-bats. Also represents the two Maverick runs that have come across the plate. And he swings at the next pitch and fouls it back to the screen. One and one the count to Collins. And breaking ball misses far outside. So it'll be a two and one. Mavs had a lot have a lot of work to do, but nothing that can be done. Down six runs. Next pitch swung on. Soft little pop fly right to the shortstop. Brings it in for the first out. It'll bring up Chris Windesman. Windesman looks at a hard breaking ball that bounces away. Ball one. Next pitch misses outside in the dirt. 2-0 the count to Windsman. Garrett Banks, the catcher, stands on deck. Windsman, ground ball, right to second oh. baseman. Bobbles the ball a little bit. Throw over is offline, and so Windsman is going to be safe at first on the air by the second baseman. Garrett Banks had a double and reached on a fielder's choice today. 
Looks at a fastball, misses outside, ball one. Another fastball looked outside from here, but umpire said it crossed the plate, so called strike one. Next pitch swung on, fouled out of play behind the press box. One ball, two strikes to count to Banks. And we're going to have a pickoff move over first. When Ms. Min is back safely. It was a 1 2 pitch. Breaking ball misses outside. Two balls, two strikes, the count to Banks. Next pitch swung on and missed, strike three. So two away for the Mavs here in the bottom of the sixth. Brings up left fielder Brandon Morio who had the RBI single last inning. Sorry, that was back in the fourth inning. It's a big swing and a miss. The first pitch, strike one. Well, he was ready to go on that one. Nice swing. Took a big hack. Holds off on the next pitch, which the umpire calls a strike on the outside corner. So 0-2 count to Morio. Two outs. Wind is in the runner at first. Next pitch, breaking ball misses outside. Maybe it's just me, but that strike zone seems to be as the innings go by widening. They widen, yes, right? indeed. One ball, two strikes. The count to Morio on both sides of the plate. Swung on, foul back, just to the right of our press box up here. Comes the one two pop. We're gonna have a pickoff move over to first. Ball gets away. Oh, when the first <laughs> wind has been dove back to the bag. First baseman trying to get the ball that got away from him. Kind of almost fell fell over wind has been. Hopefully Chris is alright. <laughs> okay. Here comes the one two pitch. Oh, got him on a high fastball swinging strike three. So that'll do it for the Mavs. Get a, get a runner on board, but couldn't bring him around again. So no runs, no hits. We head to the top of seven. Score Johnson Jaguars 8-2.
All right. Top of the seventh inning. Three, four, five hitters coming up for the Jaguars leading off shortstop McLean. He looks at a first pitch fastball in the inside corner called strike one. Next pitch swung on, grounded, bounding ball to the first baseman Collins. Morio comes over and makes a, catches the handoff toss from Collins for the out in time at first base. So one away here in the top of the seventh brings up the number four hitter McAllister. One for three today with a single strikeout and grounded out to third. He swings and misses the first pitch changeup, strike one. A swing and miss, breaking ball there, strike two. Morial working ahead, an 0-2 count. And the umpire calls time. Everybody's ready to go. Comes the 0-2 delivery from Morio. Fast ball misses a little bit high. Ball one. Next pitch swung on and a miss. Strike three. I like what I'm seeing here. Third strikeout for Morio. Okay, yep. And two down here in the top of seventh. Number three, Bailey, comes in. Two strikeouts and was safe on an error. Swings at the first pitch, fouled back to the screen. I think he's back, Dad. <laughs> Knock on wood. Another fastball swung on and just caught the end cap there and fouled it slowly over towards the uh, Mavericks dugout side. Another 0-2 count here to the number five hitter, Bailey. Fastball misses a little bit high, ball one. Well, the ball misses high and outside. So count will go to two balls, two strikes. Two outs, nobody on. Next pitch swung on, grounded softly over toward towards the first base side. Morio falls down from the pitcher's mound. Fortunately, <laughs> he's fine, yes. I see a smile, he's a little laughter. <laughs> Sniper. <laughs> I think a sniper took him out. Fortunately, <laughs> Collins is able to take it himself at first to tag the base for the third out of the inning. <laughs> All right, no runs, no hits, no damage done by Johnson Jaguars in their last at-bats. Do we have that on film? <laughs> that is unfortunately on film, yes. <laughs> Going to the bottom of the We'll seven. have to fix it and post at it. <laughs> We head to the Mavs last bats here in the bottom of seventh inning, still chasing six runs. Jaguars up 8-2. We'll be right back. Let's go, Mavs.
16, All right. Wyatt Newman to lead off. Bottom of seventh inning in here, here for the Mavericks. He'll be followed by the pitcher, James Morio, and then back to the top of the lineup with Ramsey Simpson. Comes the first pitch to Newman. Newman. Uh, breaking ball misses outside for ball one. So this is it. Bottom this is seven. It. Mavs just got to go batter to batter, station to station. All Try to string need, something together. All we need are six runs. We've been behind more than that in the past and That's come back. Indeed. So come stranger, on. stranger things have happened on the baseball field. Yes, That's, sir. This new one fouls off that last pitch. Count goes to one and one. Next pitch, breaking ball, swung on a miss, strike two. I have to give this Chris Rodriguez some credit. He's uh, he's done pretty darn well. Good looking left-handed pitcher, absolutely. Curveball, swung on and spoiled, knocked over into the uh, foul territory there into the Jaguars dugout. So Newman stays alive with a 1-2 count. In fact, only one Maverick hit since yeah. uh, Rodriguez came in. That's what I was looking at. I was going on my book, over my book, and it's one hit. Next pitch, big chopper. Shortstop comes in, makes a nice oh. play and a scoop. Throws over to first base and a nice scoop on the end of the first baseman, too. Great plays by the shortstop and first baseman there to get that out. That was a tough play. Tough play, but nicely executed. Nicely done. Yep. So one away brings up the pitcher for the Mavericks here, James Morio. He holds back on swinging on that slider that broke outside and down in the dirt. So ball one. Next pitch swung on. Lofted foul back behind the press box on the left-hand side. James, don't you know my car is there? Please. All right. Next pitch swung on, lofted into left get field. Down, Looks ball. like that's going to get yes. down. It does indeed. So yes. Morio with a one-out single here in the bottom of the seventh inning. A little shot in the arm for the Mavericks. Brings us back up to the top of the order. Ramsey Simpson. Hey, six runs down. we got to start somewhere, right? Absolutely. Got to start somewhere. We're going to have a courtesy runner for the pitcher, Morio. Uh, who do we got there? Looks like, is that... Santi yep, Santiago, Santiago de la Garza. Yeah, it is. Now the run at first base. Ramsey Simpson swings. Deep drive into center field. Center fielder is going back. And oh. he does manage to bring it in, though. You know what? I was watching there with the flagpoles, and the wind is dead. You're right. There was no wind whatsoever. If we, Nothing at all. If we would have had that 10, 15-mile-an-hour wind that's been blowing for both these games, might have been a different story right there. But center fielder made the catch, got the out. That's two outs. So a long fly out for Simpson. And Mavs down to the last out. As Jack Goins stands in and looks at the first pitch fastball that misses high and outside. Another fastball misses outside, ball two. Swings the next pitch, lost it, foul out of play over towards the uh, right-hand side. Two-one pitch to Goins, swung on and missed, strike two. Umpire thought it was strike three, motioned with the punch-out thing and then caught himself and realized it was only strike two. So 2-2 two -two count to Goins. Two outs. De La Garza, the runner on first. And in the dirt. Ball in the dirt, gets past the catcher, and that will allow De La Garza to advance easily to second base. 
And the count goes full to Goins. Next pitch, fastball swung on, fouled. Back behind the press box again. Staying alive. Comes a 3-2 pitch. Swung on, sky high, fly ball, shallow left field. Shortstop this coming over, trouble. left fielder coming over, and the left fielder grabs it in foul territory for the third out, and that will end the game. So Mavs dropped the pair today by a score of 9 to 4 in game 1 and then 8 to 2 in game 2 here. Thanks everyone for joining in for the doubleheader today. We have another doubleheader tomorrow starting at 10 a.m. versus uh, San Antonio Reagan and then 7 o'clock, the last game of the tournament against Lake Travis. Thanks again. See you tomorrow. Thanks guys.